This is Dr. Liberty, and this is Anatomy versus Physiology. Okay, so we're right at the beginning of your A&P journey, and the first thing we have to do is define these two terms. What is anatomy, and what is physiology, and why do you care? Well, anatomy is simply the structure. It's the parts. When you're studying anatomy, you're going to be pointing to something and naming it. What is this part? What is this part? What is this part? What is this vessel called? What is this muscle named? What's this bone? What's this part of this bone that's sticking out or what the hole is going through the bone? You're going to be naming things, okay? We're just looking at the parts. In physiology, we're talking about the function. So now that we have these parts, what is it that they do? Physiology is also the study of chemistry and physics. And you want to you want to just think about how does this thing do its job. So if we take the heart, we might name the chambers, we might identify the tissues that make up the wall. That's all anatomy. But when we talk about how the heart pumps the blood and does its job and how it's wired so that the electricity can get to all of those muscles so they can all contract at the same time, that's physiology. So why do we care and why do we have to talk about these things separately? After all, the class is anatomy and physiology. Well, as you go chapter by chapter, the first thing you're usually going to do is study the anatomy. You're going to look at the tissues, you're going to name the parts, you're going to identify the pieces. And then later in the chapter, or later in the semester, you're going to start talking about how all those different things work together. So you need to be able to figure out the difference between structure and function. You need to make sure that you understand what falls under the category of anatomy versus what falls under the category of physiology, especially when it comes down to maybe test questions or name these structures in order or list the steps in how this thing happens. You really want to make sure that you can see the difference between the structure and the function, the anatomy and the physiology. We'll ask you to do that. We'll ask you to classify things based on shape or we'll ask you to classify things based on how they do their job. All right, so these are important foundational principles that you're gonna go through throughout this entire semester or two or years of studying the human body. One last thing, there's a relationship between anatomy and physiology, and this is really key. I'm gonna give you three words, okay? You're gonna write this down. Structure dictates function. What's the relationship between anatomy and physiology? Structure dictates function. What does that mean? Well, that means that the parts and the pieces are gonna dictate how that thing works. Let me ask you a question. If you were to go down to the local home improvement store and pick up a whole lot of stuff to do a remodel or a demo of your house, what kind of vehicle would you take? Would you take your hatchback with um, low profile wheels? Or would you take your pickup truck with a big open bed? Structure dictates function. If I want to go pick up a lot of really big, large, long items, four by eight sheets of plywood or long pieces of wood, I'm going to need that pickup truck. Why? Because the structure of the pickup truck dictates what I can use it to do. I don't think it would be the best idea to take my little tiny two-door hatchback to Costco or to the home improvement store to pick up that large load of materials. Structure dictates function. Once you know the parts, you're going to have a much better grasp or understanding of how that thing is going to be able to do its job. Once you can name all the parts of a bone, you'll understand how the muscles and the tendons and the ligaments are going to attach to it and make it move around a joint. Okay, so we have anatomy, which is the study of structure. We have physiology, which is the study of function. And then we have the relationship between those two things, which is structure dictates function.